Hey girlies! Miss Katie and Miss Nilla coming into you from Lynchburg, Virginia with the Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council. This afternoon we're going to be working on our Senior Outdoor Art Expo badge and we're going to do steps one, two, and five. So step one is explore art outdoors. Step two is make something. Step three is create or share music inspired by nature. Step four is capture nature digitally. And step five is design outdoors. And before I begin, I was anticipating on doing this program outside, but it is pouring down rain. So if you guys want to achieve step one, two, and five doing the activity that I'm doing today, you need to make sure that you do it outside. Okay, so we are going to do two different activities. We're going to make um, DIY pressed herb um, impressions, and I'll show you how to make those. And then I'll show you how to make um, just a quick little um, marble bowl that you'll eventually bake in the oven. Thanks for joining. I see people are popping on. Okay, so let's do our DIY herb impressions first. Let me pull up my materials list. Okay, okay. So all that you need is clay of some sort. I'm using my Sculpey clay. You can use Play-Doh. I like Sculpey because you can bake it in the oven and then have it for a long time. Um, so you need your clay. For your herb impressions, try to get veiny um, leaves or flowers from outdoors. So I've got some different ones that I'm going to use. We'll just kind of see what works best. This little stringy guy. It was really wet earlier, so we'll see how well they work. And I've got another little one. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, but we'll see. And... Really, I think that's it. If you want to turn your little um, impression that we're going to make into an ornament, or if you want to hang it, you can get a straw of some sort and we'll poke a hole. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by taking a little chunk of clay. I've already kind of started on mine, and you're going to smooth it out with your fingers. Hold you down. And the idea is that you want to make it as round as you can. I also have um, parchment paper on my desk, so I don't make a mess. I don't have a roller, but I'm going to use a highlighter. And that works just fine. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But get a good flat surface. And then, I, oops, get my hand up. And then I like to kind of round the edges. Actually, this might be a little too flat. Let's see if it works. Because you'll see in a minute how we're gonna do this. Okay, so you've got your little chunk of clay. You're going to choose whatever foliage you want. I don't know why my hair's everywhere, you guys. I'm gonna try this little piece of a tiger lily. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your leaf or your little flower petal with the veins pointed up. And then you're gonna take your piece of clay and you're just going to put it right over top of it. And you're going to push it down. I might have made this one too flat. We'll see if it works. Because you do want it to be a little thicker, especially if you are going to bake it. So it doesn't split. Let's just see what we get. Okay, so that looks good so far. And then all you're going to do is peel it up. <gasps> Turned out so good. Awesome. I even got some orange on there. Oh, I am so thrilled. Okay, that was that was great. Okay, so that's one. Now, like I said, if you want to make this into a little ornament, you're gonna take a metal straw or just something with a round hole and just kind of punch a hole through it. Like that. So easy. When I found this online, um the ones that were used on the blog were a little bit smaller, and she actually used them for gift tags for um, Christmas. Oh, Nilla. Nilla's got some reverse sneezing going on. Okay. Now, if you want, you don't have to do this, but you can take acrylic paint, and if you want to paint your um, little impression, you can. I might do a little bit of yellow. Let's see. Okay, girl. When I first heard that sound, it scared me, but I guess it's pretty normal. Okay, I'm just kind of painting around it. And 
with that orange that transferred over. So easy. So that's my first one. Let's see, I'll hold it up again. And depending on what type of clay you use, there it is. Um, I'm using Sculpey, so I'm going to put this in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes and then it'll get nice and hard. And you can use it for other things. So let's try a different one. This one's a little bit thicker, which I think will be better. I'm actually going to fold some over so it stays nice and thick. You guys having a good day today? I am so sick of the rain. Okay, so that's a little bit thicker than our first one. Let's see how this one works. Lots more actually. And then I'm going to roll it. Get some help from the little highlighter. those who don't know, Jennifer is my mom and she's super supportive and she loves our videos. She's always watching. Okay. Okay, we're ready. So, now same thing. I think I'm going to try this pretty guy. I think that'll be nice. So I'm going to put the veins up. I'll point you guys down. Do -do -do. Get it where you want it. Just press down. Okay. Let's see if this one turned out as good as our first one. Let's see if it's going to be cool. So that's what it looks like right after. Let's make it a little bit. Get the heads up here. Get our shape back. Okay, so I think this time I'm going to paint our imprint and see how that turns out. Let's do, stick with the yellow. And you don't want to put too much paint because you want to be able to see those veins. I was originally, originally going to try this with watercolor, but I didn't like to stick to the clay. Just in case you guys have the same idea. I'm using acrylics right now. Okay, 
and I'll punch a little hole because maybe I want this to be a gift. And voila! Love it. Hit the comments. Let me see. Mm, I don't know how to get them back. If you guys are talking to me, I don't know what the comments are saying. But here's this one. I think. I don't know. I'm really liking that first one. Okay. So I can do... Should I do one more? I'll do one more and then I'll show you guys how to do the, the bowl. I've got this funky guy, this guy. Let me try this one. I think that'll be cool. Try to get it where I want it. Flop it over. shape a little later. So you could hang these on your wall. I mean, there's a lot that you could do with them. I really like the idea of them being gifts though. Okay, so those are our DIY herb impressions. And now we're going to make a quick little um, marble bowl. I'm still using Sculpey clay. I have some colored Sculpey clay that I thought would be fun. And all that you need for this again is clay, a good little working station, um, a small bowl that we're gonna use to um, use as an impression for the bowl that we're eventually going to make. So we're gonna be putting these in the oven when we're done. So I'm just gonna take a little block off my orange and make a snake with my hands. Try to make it even. And I'll have to play with it and see how much um, clay that I need. Because my bowl is a little bit bigger than I anticipated. I got my one snake. And then I've got kind of a light pink. Take it off. Snake it. Try to make it the same length. Smush it together like that, and then I've got some red. Which is a really pretty red. Very deep. Okay, so we'll see if this, you know, I think I'm going to need more. So let me do another round of that. my bowl's a little big. We'll see how I'll do this. So I need to work out. Okay. So however big your bowl is, you're going to try to roll out as much clay as you think will need to cover the surface of your bowl. And this should be plenty. Oops. Stick that back together. Okay, 
So this is, again, we're making marble bowls. So you saw me take my colors. Just trying to talk and do it at the same time. So smush it together. So they're all touching. Here, let's do it like this. My parchment paper is giving me trouble. So you're gonna hold it in your hand and you're just gonna twist it. And you blend it together. That's going to make a marble effect. Do some kneading. See? Okay. Now, how we're going to turn this into a bowl is we're going to take whatever size bowl you want to use. And you're going to spread out your marbleized clay. So you want to stretch it so it's wide enough to fit your bowl, and you're going to have to play with it. And get it the right um, diameter. Okay, getting closer. I think we're good. So you're just going to take your clay, and you're going to push it inside the bowl, and that's going to give your Play a nice bowl shape, and this is when you can really perfect it. Make sure it's even, make sure there's no um, spaces that are too thin, because if it is, it'll, it'll crack in the oven. Make sure you're using an oven safe bowl. That's a good tip. You just kind of knead it till it looks like you want it. You can make it as deep or as tall as you want. This could be used for your jewelry. You could put your earrings in here, your necklaces, maybe your badges. Okay, so once I've kind of gone around and made sure that it's an even thickness, there's enough clay on all parts of my bowl, you're going to need adult supervision for this. And this is only if you're using Sculpey clay. I don't think you can put Play-Doh in the oven. So if you want to um, fire and glaze your, your bowl, make sure you get the right type of clay from an art store. So, I think I'm ready. So what I'm gonna do, again, I'm using Sculpey, so this has specific instructions. I'm going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes on 275, and then I'm gonna take it out, and when I do, you should just be able to knock your bowl right out of your original bowl. And then, if you want to gloss it, you can get some sort of special glaze. This is Sculpey glaze, and that'll make it shiny and um, keep it hard, and I'll just make it look really nice. But those are my activities for today. I think we made a lot of really cool stuff. So we've got our imprints. We've got our little marble bowl. Lots of fun. So that is Senior Outdoor Art Expert, step one, two, and five. But remember, I was supposed to do this outside, but it was raining. So try to create your clay, um, clay things outside if you can. Have a great day, you guys.